Welcome to Washington Whispers. I'm Paul Bedard. Well, if you've ever thought of collecting a piece of Americana or international history, this is your week. Imagine having Ben Franklin's pocket watch or a Confederate sword. How about a rare Barack Obama autograph or a ball used in the game when Baltimore Oriole Cal Ripken bested Lou Gehrig's record of 2,130 consecutive games? Maybe you've got a dark side and would like an old KKK poster or one of Charlie Manson's checks. What about putting an actual watercolor painted by Adolf Hitler on your wall or owning an extremely rare diary written by Nazi death doctor Joseph Mengele after he fled to Brazil? Then on Wednesday and Thursday, log on to www.alexautographs.com for a try at some of those and more. You know, you've heard me talk about Alexander Autographs before, and it's because as a history buff, I love their auctions and their amazing catalog of historical relics. Even if you don't look at the auction, bookmark the site because it's a neat way to take a walk through history. But let me tell you, this month's sale, it's really a collection of what's right and wrong with this world. Just consider the Mengele Diary. Alexander President Bill Panagopoulos tells me Mengele is very, very rare, which is why he thinks the diary could fetch up to 80 grand. His website and catalog detail some of what's in the 180 pages. It's creepy. Mengele talks about extermination on one page and his thrill of seeing South American monkeys on the other. You might ask, why would anybody sell or buy this stuff? But Panagopoulos tells me it's part of history, shouldn't be hidden away or destroyed. Other dark items for sale include three different KKK outfits and tons of stuff from Adolf Hitler's personal train, all with the swastika on them. But there are also letters, memos, and autographs from George Washington, Winston Churchill, Clark Gable, Michael Jackson, and others. One of the reasons I like to flip through the Alexander Autographs catalog is to see the value of history. For example, Civil War stuff is always pricey, but the KKK items in this sale are relatively cheap. Hitler's expensive, but Mussolini isn't. And sometimes the details of how Panagopoulos got the items are the best part. Take the stuff off Hitler's train. Turns out they were in a collection kept by Ike's aide-de-camp, and one of the KKK outfits came from the stock of a clothes dry cleaner. I mean, it's starched and everything. Or how about this? A live round of 32 ammo from Bonnie and Clyde found in the attic of a Texas sheriff. I mean, it's crazy. All right, before I check out a housekeeping note, this week we're adding two new things to the digital edition of Whispers, an editorial cartoon and a Whispers list. The cartoon focuses on Sarah Palin's move to Fox and the list charts 10 plays the Democrats need to avoid a fall election disaster. We're gonna use this model every other week. On other weeks, we'll be featuring the great artwork of illustrator Ed Wexler, like that wonderful Obama poster he did last week. Okay, that's a wrap. Thanks, I'm Paul Bedard. Thank you.